Channel 9 has discovered hundreds of crashes at Charlotte intersections where the state has made no safety improvements. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Barber investigated and Mark, you had to do a lot of research yourself because the state said it would be too much work on their end. Well, Scott, after I saw a wreck at one of those intersections, I asked NCDOT for an analysis of their crash numbers. They said it would take 300 hours and cost up to $20,000. So I did it myself. Now I am not a trained analyst, so the department pointed out the numbers I found may be on the low side, which actually makes this even more concerning. I came to the intersection, looked, and it looked clear, pulled out, and uh, got blindsided. Paul Miedemann was knocked unconscious when this car, his car, was T-boned. The driver of this battered car hit him and then slammed into a cat's bus. I'm thankful to be alive, really. This mess of mangled metal happened at the intersection of Monroe Road and Covedale Drive in East Charlotte back in September. I discovered the wreck happened more than a year after NCDOT learned the intersection was so dangerous it needed its own stoplight. When I talked to NCDOT back in September about this intersection here, they told me it would take about nine months to build the land that they need here to put that traffic light on. Well, it's been about nine months, so I just checked in with them. Problem is, they told me they still have no idea how soon that light will go up here. If a traffic light was installed right after NCDOT discovered the trouble, drivers say that could have stopped some of the 22 crashes that hurt as many as 13 people over the past two years. The spot is just one small part of a bigger problem. My investigation revealed a lot more of these dangerous intersections are scattered throughout Mecklenburg County. I've spent hours digging through data on thousands of crashes to uncover this. This map of Mecklenburg County shows 20 intersections where stoplight improvements are needed. Now these risky roads run all the way from Old Statesville Road to South End and all the way down to Steel Creek. Now NCDOT has known for at least two years in some of these cases that these intersections are not safe. Yet I found that not one of these has been fixed yet. Here are some of the busiest intersections where drivers think dozens of crashes could have been stopped. University City Boulevard near UNCC, Rocky River Road in Northeast Charlotte, East John Street near Matthews, and Pineville Matthews Road in South Charlotte. In all, I counted more than 300 crashes at these 20 intersections since June 2016. Is NCDOT failing to keep drivers safe? I would say that we are in the process of getting things identified and funded and constructed. NCDOT traffic engineer Anthony Taglaferi tells me all the high-risk intersections will not be fixed until the department's office in Raleigh finds more money. Our road projects are stuck on a waiting list with dozens of other state projects. Charlotte's intersection improvements will get to the top eventually, but that will take time. Couldn't open the door. Drivers who are still healing from crashes say they can't wait any longer for action. I'm sure there's real red tape, but eventually you just gotta, you gotta do something. So how do we get the money to fix those intersections? The traffic expert at UNC Charlotte told me one option would be raising the gas tax, but of course, Scott and Erica, that would mm -hmm. not be a very popular option. Right. No, and a lot of those intersections you mentioned, I'm, I'm kind of nodding because I've been through them, especially John Street and Matthews. It's always really busy there. And I just drove through that one to get yeah. here tonight. A yeah. lot of us do. And that's the problem. These are high volume intersections. Mm -hmm. Now, let's take another look at that map. If you want to see where these intersections fall near you, go to WSOCTV.com and look for my report on the homepage.